Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for the 23rd of August 2020 and it is for the sign of Gemini. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If you um, would like to have a private reading, you're looking for some guidance, you're looking for some answers, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail. Com. You can also look into the YouTube Dropbox and you will find all the necessary information. So you'll find the different types of readings along with the uh, price list and how to reserve a, a reading with me. So that being said, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you do enjoy the channel and you do enjoy the messages, please do click the subscribe button to show your support and to show your encouragement to myself and to the channel. So that being said, let's begin this reading. This reading here is all about is he or she lying? So you kind of feel like something's off, you're not quite sure, maybe you even asked them about it but they said no everything's okay but still everything kind of seems off and you're still you know in doubt that something is happening, somebody is lying here. So let's see what kind of message we can get for you. I have here the lady, I have the bridge, I have the wishing well, and I'm finishing it off with an oracle, card, an oracle card right at the end. So this one here is really quite simple. I do have to say this here is you, you being a man or a woman, this card is depicting you. So this is all about a, um, it's all about a state. This is really how, let's say you're just sitting there. You have to put yourself into the place of the card here. It's like if you're in this position and you're sitting down and you're contemplating and you're thinking, what are you thinking of? You're thinking about your relationship. You're thinking about how it used to be, what was was good, what was not as good, um, what is possible, what is going on. This is really you really trying to assess the situation as it is, as it was in the past, as it is now, and as it might be for the future. You're trying to think about the future also because you're really wondering what is going on, are they lying, and if they're lying, why? what are they lying about? So this is really just you and I feel as though, you know, you might be holding something or really like something in your hands or there might be something that you're, you know, could be a favorite t-shirt, a picture, could be something. And um, you're just really thinking, you're thinking about the relationship. Now I have the bridges over here. The bridges, what do bridges do? Bridges, they connect people they connect places. They are just a point in time is what they are. This is the gap that shortens the distance to bring you together. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is you have an issue here. There's a problem because there's a trust issue. You don't know if they're lying or not. What I'm trying to tell you is whatever this problem is, you're able to overcome it. You've got the bridge. You've got the gap. You're able to come together onto this bridge. That being said, there's going to be a solution that is going to come. You're going to overcome this obstacle, this non-trust, and you are going to um, you're going to create new opportunities. Simply. Now that being said, you're going to go over. I do have to say though that there are some trust issues because there are a couple of things that are kind of insecure here but as I said you're able to go over it okay so um, I'm going to get to this card in just a moment and um, this is really about creating new opportunities so it's really about getting whatever it is that you want in time the well the wishing well I told you I'd get to it here we go now the wishing well is all about look into it very deep okay look deeper is really what it's about because there is something, okay? You need to take a closer look. You need to look beyond the surface of a person, beyond the surface of perhaps a situation also. Um, this is really about, um, it's really about you needing to work, okay? This indicates that you're going to have to work hard to get what it is that you want out of this relationship, to get the truth out. But once you get it out, as I said, you're going to be able to overcome the obstacle and you're going to find the solutions. But there is something that they are hiding. What is it and what, to what extent? I don't know. But there is something that they are hiding and you need to discover. Once you discover it, as I said, you'll be able to find a solution to overcome it and find new opportunities. But to answer the question, is he or she lying? Yes, they are. There is something that is hidden down in this well over here, down inside of them. They don't quite want to say what it is. As your oracle card I have here, this man who's a little bit spooky, he is about goals, dedication, and process. This is really about our journey through life is said to be just really a 
to be full of transformation from imperfection to corruptible state where towards the perfect, healthy, and everlasting state. It really goes all over the place. Now, what does not kill us makes us stronger. Thus, painful or difficult changes that we endure can, in theory, burnish us in a spiritual sense to a height, golden shine. We can also seek out knowledge, opportunity, and challenge. It is not necessary to merely allow life to happen to us. When we are motivated by goals that we that have a very deep meaning, by dreams that need completion, by pure love that needs expressing, then we truly live life. That is very wise. That being said, this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you are going to um, apply as much as these lovely words of wisdom that I just spoke to you. As I hope you're going to find some communication, you're going to try and find out exactly what is going on here so you can gap that bridge. Um, I do wish you a really, really nice day. If you do have any questions, you'd like a reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for the following readings. And thank you for your support. I'll see you soon.